Okay, here we go, YouTube. We're back at uh, Dreamweb. Take number 2,475 from Silver Spooks Toyota Corolla Beater 95 manual. But I gotta record from my car now. I'm recording from my car because the inside of my house is about 200 degrees and 300% humidity because we've got serial hurricanes. And the car is cool enough and also quiet enough. I'm not, gonna, I'm not in danger of waking any babies so uh, this is going to be where I'm going to be recording the rest of my let's play from uh, let's see all right so anyway back to dream web this is the dream web the 1990 something was it 90 something cyberpunk game <clears throat> released by uh, creative fuck I don't remember the name is uh, that shit out. okay anyway uh, so what we're going to do now is apparently every single object in this game can be clicked on and used like from magazines i walked to this magazine exam magazine there's a small pile of magazines here there are a couple of copies of vogue and some magazines about the advertising business so you can actually click on every single thing from magazines to packages of cigarettes to individual cigarettes to like the freaking like pieces of lint on your on your you know cyberpunk protagonist brown duster like you can like look at the everything and it's like oh yes i remember when i was walking into the chatsubo and i accidentally scratched myself on the razor girl's arm and shredded my jacket leaving that piece of lint i mean you can examine literally every single object in the game and so i figured out after about two hours of getting nowhere in a single apartment trying to figure out what to do with all the objects that you just gotta basically blast forward and only take objects that seem like super vital. Unlike most point-and-click adventures where you try to pick up everything that you can, everything that's interactive will have s some potential game-altering use in the future. But in this game, like almost everything is like irrelevant, uh, except as like world-building, background story flavor text. So let's just look at this piece. Of well, let's not look at the jeans because there's probably nothing in it. Some things you do have to examine. Just in case there's something in them, so like I'm just gonna check these out. Eden's jeans will never fit you. Okay, don't wear a girl's jeans. Jeans are faded and well worn. Okay, all right, let's check. Um, examine console. A flat plastic computer console, used by Eden. It is used as a word processor and is entirely voice activated. There's a small display on the top, which means it can be used as a portable. Portable what? Portable computer. Portable word processor. It's funny, it's, it's like, this is so retro, like, a word processor is, like, a thing, like, that's, like, one, like, that's, like, 0.00002% of, like, a really crappy smartphone is a word processor nowadays. Walk to light, walk to book. On the bedside table is a book of Eden's. She would, she never really got on with reading books on the network machine. The network machine. There's, like, a machine that is the network, interesting. There is a bookmark inside marking her page. Use the book. You read the title and it says Mortal Mask. Network machine. That's so trippy. Like, there's a machine just for connecting to the network. Okay, let's see. Examine drawers. The small chest of drawers that you recall Eden bought not long ago. Okay. Like, <laughs> I said I wasn't going to look at every single object, but I have serious obsessive compulsive disorder and I'm going to touch click on and use everything I can because I don't know let's just I can't help it all right contents of drawers take brush take magazine let's just take what the hell if I run out of space I'll just uh, drop something let corp okay all right let's just move forward with this walk to shirt One of Eden's shirts lies crumpled on the bed. It's a bright pink color and it's inside out. Eden's shirt is of no use to you. You could take it, you could sniff it for morale. You could uh, use it. Let's see, examine cigarettes. Packet of cigarettes. All right, I'm not gonna read all these descriptions. I think I do need that wallet though. Let's see, where is that wallet? find this in my little microscopic x-ray vision mirror there 
A brown leather wallet with your initials in the corner. The clasp hangs limply off the leather, and the wallet has seen better days. It's a brown. It's a brown and orange rectangle with like made out of 30 pixels. Okay, let's open it. Take cash card. I think yeah, we need that. I like money. I like money. Swap photo. Place photo. Oh, take photo. Take list. These things seem seem useful. Let's exit. This mug. Monitor. Okay, I think that might be the only things I really need in here. Stone floor. Examine waste bin. Let's just look in the trash. Let's rummage through the trash because we're a homeless person living in a home. A flimsy metal waste bin stands in the corner of the room by Eden's desk. The bin is a dull gray color and it weakly reflects the neon light that shines onto it. I like how there's like there's like really hyper specific descriptions of every single object. It's like this game was like made by like uh, people with like serious As Asperger spectrum disorder where like they have to describe like what was the color of the trash can? Like the light reflected off the coke can so much like you know laser beams shooting out of the butt of a unicorn. I don't know. It's just like they really got to describe every, every single freaking thing. Which I guess you know like I guess in, in, in William Gibson he is an, the master of object descriptions but I wish it was. I wish it would be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of a direction, a little bit more of a point to all the objects, so you didn't have to kind of like do kind of a random, you know, or just have to like look at every single thing in order to find out what matters. I, I wish it just things that matter would be highlighted or something. Okay, walk to mug, walk to refrigerator. The fridge is set into the work unit, and this small handle is connected to one side. Open fridge. Oh, you got all kind of stuff. Take cheese, take milk, take cheese, take milk, milk, take orange juice. Can we eat it, maybe? For some reason, this is like early 90s, like Amiga era software programming. I highly doubt that there is a hunger starvation system <laughs> programmed here. So the consumption of consumables food and drink is just kind of like a fun thing for for uh immer immersion so let's open you got to click on your ear you keep all your objects in your ear you click on your ear and it opens your inventory apparently you just store them inside of your empty skull because you're an empty-headed action hero from the 80s all right let's look at this take cigarettes let's use the let's use the cheese dish use it Open the dish if you want some cheese. Oh, okay, we have to open the dish. All right, you anal retentive British people. All right, open the cheese dish. Take the cheese. Cut the cheese. You can't do that. You can't do that. Okay, you can't put the cheese back in the dish. The cheese, the cheesy, the cheesy is out of the bottle. You can't put it back in the dish. You've op we've opened Pandora's cheese. You can't put that cheese back in that box. Sorry, buddy. Can we use the cheese? I want to use the cheese. You break off a small bit of cheese and eat it. It tastes awful. Fantastic. A triangular block of low-fat Swiss cheese that has holes running through it. The cheese has a pungent and quite unpleasant odor. Why didn't they tell me that before I started eating this? Now I'm going to have like food poisoning and I'm going to die before like anything cool and cyberpunky happens. This is going to make me sad. Examine drinks machine. All right, open the drink machine. Uh, nothing, nothing to drink. Open. Micro cooker, because microwave was trademarked in the 80s. Apparently, it hadn't yet become a common noun. It was still a proper noun. Micro cooker. It is micro cooker. It looks completely burnt out. The door hangs limply off one hinge, and the inside is blackened with soot. What the hell were they cooking in there? <laughs> is it like? Blackened with soot. How do you like microwave something until it's blackened with soot? Were you like using it as like a cremation device for your dead cat? Uh. Oh, there's a key in it. Fantastic. Good thing I looked in there. See, that's the thing that's like I, I was kind of like getting frustrated with. Is it was like I don't know where are the key objects. I'm just like, I'm just like hunting and like scavenger hunting every and like picking up every single thing and I don't know what matters, but. Um, I guess this 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 things that are keys in games 
tend to open things that allow you to progress to levels beyond the one you're on. A heavy gold key that is about four inches long. There is a design carved into the handle, and there are strange markings along the barrel. A heavy gold key that is about four inches long. And there are strange markings along the barrel. It kind of looks like a tiki god. Use the key. The key is of no use here. All right, let's see. In Soviet Russia, key use you. All right, I already did that. Okay, let's look over. It's interface. A network interface that has yet to be connected. There is the usual slot for a cartridge. There is a large number of connectors at the back. Okay, this interface. Usual slot for a cartridge. Okay, so you use cartridges on your interfaces. This terminology is like giving me like serious cognitive dissonance. I'm like, what, what? A cartridge interface? But it's like cartridges. I remember like red Nintendo cartridges. So like cartridges, I guess, are some kind of. They're like the informational discs, CDs, USB, whatever thing. Things that store data are cartridges. And interfaces are things that you plug the cartridges into. Okay, sound great. This collapsible packing crate has a white dust sheet draped over it. Alright, open the crate. You lift the dust sheet and find that the crate is empty. Fantastic. Way to kill the vibe dust crate. Alright, let's see. Walk to control. A large elevator control panel with big brass buttons set into it. The controls are clamped onto the wall. Large elevator control panel with big brass buttons set. Okay. All right, use the buttons. You examine the controls and select the ground floor. You press the button marked down and the elevator takes you down. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Oh, animation. Animation. The elevator takes you slowly down to the garage beneath Eden's apartment. Okay. Oh. New music track. Oh, but I like Enya. Okay, let's walk to the crate. Now we just hear the sound of rain. Crates, an empty packing crate that is left over from Eden moving into her new home. The plate crate is made of thin, strong plastic and has orange, fragile labels on it. We use the fragile crate. Crate has no use, exit. All right. Walk to storage units. Wrench, a strange looking wrench with a dark red handle. The neck has a small device on it to tighten or loosen the teeth. I think that's called a monkey wrench, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe it's, it looks kind of like an alligator. Maybe it's an alligator wrench. Uh, okay, examine crate. Open that crate up. I'm not even going to read this because it's probably got no use. Way to kill the vibe crate with nothing inside you punk ass motherfucker okay examine car oh, this computer is hot and it's on my leg it's burning my leg okay Eden has obviously had some car travel and she's been repairing it herself the repairs aren't finished and the car stands here with the hood open okay Eden has obviously had some car travel alright hood's open let's check out the car let's see what happened to it let's fix her car you would have to fix the car first and you don't have the first idea so apparently Mr. Apparently Mr. MacGyver is not a mechanic. Damn it, Jim, I'm a cyber I'm a cyberpunk, not a mechanic. Alright, let's exit. Examine screwdriver, large blade screwdriver. The transistor large plastic, screwdriver belongs to Eden. Okay. Let's drop it there. Anything else useful in this car? Let's just look at Oh! Auto manual. And you let's open a page describing how to change oil filters. You're much, much worse at car maintenance than Eden. Girl power. Uh, women can do car maintenance in the 80s. Uh, all right. Okay. Let's see. Oily rag. Let's take the oily rag. It would be blue if it wasn't so oily. Actually, you know what? I don't want to take a blue oily rag and mess up my beautiful, pristine uh, duster. I'm not going to do that. Oh, drop it. Drop, drop, drop. Oh, there. Okay. All right. Let's exit this place. Get the flip out of this useless land. Okay. Uh, drain. 
Sidewalk light. Okay, I guess we gotta keep walking there. I'm wa whoa! Thunder. Okay. Your apartment. Eden's house. Sparkies. Let's go to Sparkies. Let's get drunk. Whoa! Keep freaking out about the thunder, man. <laughs> okay, bin. A square metal bin on a single leg that is bolted to the floor. Open the bin. Take garbage. See, like, you can take pieces of trash. Which is simultaneously cool and simultaneously extremely infuriating. Because I don't know what to use on what. A Coke can that is slightly crumpled. It is mainly red and has the familiar logo along its side. Because, like, what if, like, on the, like, you know, like, the last level and there's, like, the, you know, the super awesome, all-powerful AI and, like, its only weakness is, like, pieces of discarded aluminum or something, right? I don't know. I feel like I, I'm going to need to use every single one of these objects at some point, and so I need to take them. Or if I don't use them, at least I could, like, you know get some kind of achievement like you know obsessive compulsive disorder achievement or like hoarders award or something but obviously that's not gonna happen because this game is like 40 years old or something and they didn't have those things at that time walk to man let's talk to the green man let's talk to the nape of his neck let's do that a man 